pneumatic system. They use the power of compressed air to make things move. This compressed air is squeezed into the container. Hydraulic system uses compressed liquids instead of compressed air to make tasks move. Examples would be car jack and many more. In this lesson, we are to do a pneumatic and hydraulic system using a polystyrene base, a two syringe, craft glue, scissors, um, and string just to keep it together. Now, the first step is to open up your stand and just try to press it into the polystyrene base. Make holes, just dig a little, not too, not too deep, just to sink it in. And as you place it on the stand, put it in position, you are to glue it on and make sure that your injections can be comfortably placed as you can see us putting them together about to position them and you can see the stand is well glued after some time and dried up um, this is just a simple demonstration of how hydraulics uh, work compressing from one end to another now taping the syringe in position is very important on the base and on the stand so that they can comfortably um, lift as you squeeze at the bottom and it will lift it up. It's recommended to first tape your syringe in place so that you can just glue it comfortably and the glue could just you know, sink in around the syringe in case you want to take it out later just to make it a little more neater don't forget to extra secure it and get it all clued up as I mentioned earlier to the base, to the stand. I use a string and tape to assemble together the the carriage on for the load carrying um, the bottom part is the canvas and as you can see it's the spin the pink string and the tape um, taping it together there it is guys the finished products that you are to seeing before you going up and down just testing it out and really it's just such a significant view to see Thank you so much for joining us for this series at looking at technology systems. Please do subscribe, like and comment and see more that you want to learn from us. I'm a team figure. Have a good day.